with St. Pat's manager Tim Clancy after Monday's 3-0 win against Bohemians. Tim, a perfect night in inch core for you and the lads? Listen, we've probably rather luck a little bit in the first half with Joe and Ang made a few great saves and um, it's just a completely different performance than we had here three days ago. Um, full of energy, loads of running. Tunde was excellent, got a hat-trick and um, listen, it's a great performance and it's a great result for us. Yeah, you made three changes from the game against Chelsea. One of those was Tunde Olabi back in and he scored one so far this season and grabs a hat-trick and a couple of brilliant goals in the penalty then to, to get the third. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's what we keep screaming at everyone is to when we get into the final third hit the target and his first two goals are brilliant strikes uh, find the corner net and it gives us a, a massive foot up in the game and then um, young Sam Curtis unbelievable for the penalty Dyler takes it does a little trick gets taken down and then Tunde buries it and end up getting three points and a, and a clean sheet which is pleasing I think it's our ninth of the season now which is yep. uh, brilliant for the young players it's just trying to now get a little bit more consistency um, I know we've got a lot of young players and the, the window's coming up and we're going to bring lads in to help that but um, we're trying to get away from the inconsistent days and when we're at it like this tonight and drop it away and a couple of other games rovers here um, we're a good team and we've got to try and find that more often And nice as well when Tunde got the second to sprint over to celebrate with the bench a striker who loves scoring goals Yeah, listen, he's been frustrated Tunde as well um, probably not getting as much opportunity as he probably wanted and um, but that's it tonight he gets in he scores a hat-trick makes a massive statement and um, he's got to play through the middle tonight as well, which is, which is a big plus for us. And um, us going three at the back allowed to do that. And given the result on Friday, does that make tonight's performance and result even better? It does. It also makes it more frustrating as well because we know we have a performance like that in us. Um, it's the inconsistency, as I say, in there that you do get with a young squad, but the more experience that they get um, will certainly um, hopefully limit the amount of games that we're off on. Um, you, sorry, sorry go, go on. on. No, go on. You uh, mentioned the clean sheet as well, sorry for interrupting you, um, at the other end and particularly in the first half Joe makes a couple of great saves and the back five blocks and tackles and stuff as well and I know that's uh, part of what you're trying to build on too. Yeah, it's the back five but it's also the work Adam O'Reilly and Jay were doing in the middle in front of the, the, the back three really. Um, <coughs> wing backs were very aggressive in uh, the pressing as well of their opposition full backs so um, no, I'm really pleased, uh, clean sheet is, is massive for us and when we keep clean sheets and start getting goals at the far end it's obviously going to be a good recipe. And lastly, no rest for the wicket. Back to action again at Oriel on Friday in the last game before the break against Dundalk. So they'll have to recover quickly and get ready for another big one. Yeah, again, Dundalk have been uh, probably the form team in the league now. Um, sales and Rovers, so uh, been very consistent. I think they won again tonight. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but again, we prepare for Friday. They're very good at home, but listen, we're decent away from home as well. And we'll be going up there and hoping for a similar performance tonight. Thank you. Cheers, Jay. Thanks. Well,